Blockchain is by far one of the best industries for developers in 2022. It's one of the highest paying fields in tech. Yeah, becoming a blockchain developer is one of the fastest ways to change your career and earn a six-figure salary, whether you're an experienced developer already or just starting out because the demand is absolutely insane. And in this video, I'm gonna look at a blockchain developer job paying $130,000 a year plus and break down everything that you would need to know in order to get this job and how to get all that information so that you could become qualified. I'm gonna talk about this as a blockchain developer myself who works this technology on a daily basis, who has helped thousands and thousands of other people become real world blockchain developers. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. All right, so let's jump into this. Let's talk about this blockchain developer job that's paying over $130,000 a year. You can see $130,000 to $190,000 a year for somebody with just one you know, full year of experience. And so if you want to land one of these jobs, and I have a huge announcement to make. Of course, you need the skills to pay the bills in order to get something like this. And the DAP University Bootcamp is the fastest way to break into the blockchain industry, whether you're an experienced developer or a beginner. And I'm super excited to announce that the new and improved version of the DAP University Blockchain Bootcamp version 2.0 is coming out on July 14th. So make sure you sign up with the link down below to hold your spot for the special launch event. And even if you sign up for that link before, you need to re-sign up to make sure your spot's held for the special launch event. All right, so let's jump back into this. Let's look at this blockchain job that's paying $130,000 to $190,000 per year and break down what the requirements are if you wanted to get a job like this and you know what you need to know and how to actually go through that process. So let's look at the job description. So this is a fully remote job. So if you want to work from wherever you want, you can. Okay, so that's one of the big benefits of the blockchain industry is you can you know work remotely. So they're looking for a blockchain engineer who will assist with research, design, development, and deployment of cutting edge blockchain solutions. So they're going to basically work on development, writing code, and documenting functionality. So they'll be developing secure smart contract protocols. Okay, so that's the exact skills that I teach on this channel, and then back-end services to connect Coinbase users with the crypto ecosystem. So let's look at the requirements. So one plus year of solidity and smart contract development experience. So one plus year of back-end development experience, and then, you know, experience with the popular things like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and DeFi. And so that's what you need if you want to get this job. You need to be able to create smart contracts, the solidity programming language. You need some back-end development experience, and then you need uh, you know, one year of working experience with either of those things uh, or both of those things in order to to be qualified. So let me tell you about how I would approach getting this job from wherever your background is, okay? So let's say that you're a complete beginner programmer with no prior programming experience. Well, you're probably not going to be able to just go out and land this job unless you're really good. You might be able to. I've seen beginners, you know, get high salaries out the gate. Uh, but still, that's that's okay because, you know, just with some experience, you could get up to that, you know, six figure level uh, and become qualified for this job. So how would you do that? Well, I would look at a different job like this one. So this is a junior solidity engineer. Okay, it's on the same website on Indeed.com. This is eight, ninety-eight dollars to $125,000 per year. And the biggest responsibility here is that you just are able to uh, develop with Solidity. So what you could do is you could go get a Solidity developer job. That's going to give you that year of experience and work in a place like that. Okay. And then, you know, you could get this extra backend experience while you're working a regular job and then use that to leverage a better job at a place like this. That's the strategy that I would take. And if you're an experienced developer already, okay, and you have, you know, one year of backend experience plus, you know, they might take you assuming that you can prove that you're good at Solidity and that you've got that skill outside the workplace and that you've basically learned Solidity on your own because you've already got that professional developer experience. And so that's a path for anybody wherever you're starting from to get to the point where you could land one of these six-figure blockchain developer jobs, okay? So I'll also stop and say this, like if I was just starting out and starting over from Square One with no skills, I honestly wouldn't worry too much about what my starting salary was as long as it was something that you know, it was a healthy income that I could use, you know, I could live off of because, you know, you're going to get experience and then you can use that experience to let, you know, leverage that to get a better job later. All right. So now let's talk about actually searching for the jobs themselves. Okay. So how did I find this particular job? Well, I just found it on a website like indeed.com. So I was just searching for blockchain developer jobs and it remembers that I search for these types of things. And so I just literally went to the Indeed homepage and it suggested this job for me. Sometimes people will sponsor stuff and sometimes the job posting websites have like algorithms that will show you recommended jobs based on your past search history. So I routinely go to these websites just to keep a pulse on the market and search for, you know, Solidity developer, blockchain developer, uh, different keywords. Sometimes 
you just look up cryptocurrency and things will be like it be kind of masked as like back end developer or front end developer, but they'll require like some smart contract experience. And that's where you can find those types of things get creative in what you're searching for, and it will send you new things. So you can also look at other popular like crypto specific job websites like cryptojobslist.com. They've got like Solidity Developer uh, recommendations. They got specific blockchain developer filtering stuff. Okay, you can also get other ones like uh, uh, cryptocurrency jobs is another one. There's plenty of job websites out there that have got these opportunities. And so I was talking about some tips for applying for the jobs and landing them. Okay, so we've talked about you know some ways where you can find them. You can look at these job posting websites. If you're going to go that route, you definitely want to apply to as many places as possible, especially if you're a new developer or you're a Web two developer trying to transition into Web three and you never had a Web three point job before. Like ultimately, somebody's gonna take a chance on you. So like you want to try to up your chances by applying to as many places as possible. So but how do you also increase the likelihood that someone's going to do that? So you definitely want to pre qualify yourself before someone tries to interview you. So a lot of people try to do this with a resume, they try to just send out something that says, Hey, here's my work experience. Here's my education experience with no, you know, even picture of them. But what you really want to have is a portfolio website that shows what you can do. And then in that portfolio website, you, of course, want to create your own real world project. So if you're a Web 2 developer getting into Web 3 or you're just a brand new developer from scratch, you need to prove that you have the skills to pay the bills for somebody to take a chance on you. And so like I was saying, like, it's like, how do you get that first job without experience? Will you get that experience outside the workplace? So you build a real world project unguided, okay, and then prove that you can do it. You can push that project out in the wild where other people can use it. And then you open source the code to prove that you wrote it. And then you put that in your portfolio site. And that's the first thing that your potential employer should see whenever they're, you know, thinking about going to hire you because it's just a quick, you know, check that yes, this person knows they're talking about or at least probably does. And they can just click through and see it and verify for themselves. And here's also a bonus tip of something that you can do while you're applying for jobs. So, you know, in addition to looking on job posting websites, you can get out on social media, like while you're building your portfolio piece and talk about it, like just document what you're doing. Like you could record a video of it. You could take screenshots of it and do some write ups. But put it out there in public and start sharing on platforms like, you know, LinkedIn or Twitter or even YouTube where, you know, people can or the algorithm has some way to surface your post outside your network of friends and that other people can see it. You could post it inside of, you know, professional groups or just you want to get in front of uh, you want to get eyeballs from people who could potentially hire you. And one of the easiest ways to do that is by finding those watering holes online and then posting your information in front of them. So you can also do it in person right now that the world's kind of opening back up. You can go to in-person meetups. You can go to hackathons. You can go to all types of places where developers are because a lot of times, you know, there are people that say, hey, we're hiring or it's it's okay to go to those things and just say, hey, I'm looking for a job to increase the, you know, the net that you're casting when you're trying to get that exposure to get that first job. All right. So let's talk about how to learn the skills too, because, you know, you definitely need the skills to pay the bills in order to land one of these high paying blockchain jobs. So whether you're a developer already or you're just starting from scratch, then the best way to learn um, you know, the programming language and the technologies is through immersion. So the last thing you want to do is go do a bunch of like coding challenges or try to learn uh, you know, the the frameworks or try to learn like, you know, the, the coding languages inside of like a video game type simulation. Like that nobody really ever fully develops a functional programming skill that way. Okay. So how do people learn foreign languages through immersion? That's the same way you learn programming is by doing that and learning by doing. And so basically what that means is you learn uh, the programming skills in the context of building a guided application. It's just like the free tutorials that I put out on my YouTube homepage, but those are really like Udemy courses, right? I'm talking about the next level, which is a pro level blockchain application where you actually are doing the types of tasks that you would do in a professional setting and on at the skill level that you would need in a workplace. And so that's exactly what we do is at the blockchain bootcamp. It's the fastest way to level up your skills to get to that professional level blockchain developer experience that you need if you want to break into the Web 3.0 industry. And I'm super excited that we are relaunching the blockchain bootcamp on July 14th. So if you want to be a part of this special launch event, if you're trying to break in the Web 3.0 industry, you don't want to miss this. So you need to make sure you sign up with the link down below to hold your spot today. I'm super excited to release this back into the world because I've been thinking a long time like, hey, what's the best way for blockchain developers to get these? skills in 2022 and this is it so hold your spots link down below today even if you sign up for that link before you need to resubmit all right so that's the guy for today that's an overview of this hundred thirty thousand dollar plus blockchain developer job what you need to know in order to get a job like this and how to actually acquire the skills so make sure you smash that like button down below subscribe to this channel and until next time thanks for watching dap university